Hi people. Um, Zed has a problem. <laughs> Why are we not surprised? Right, okay, like the last three nights she's had a problem with her rear legs and that's never a good thing people, you know, we, we don't want our dogs having joint problems. Mm. And I'm not going to get on my soapbox about bad breeders. We all know that I feel very strongly that all testing should be done before breeding and, and the only test that Zed's dam had was a uh, collie eye, anom eye anomaly. I find that CEA anyway. And that was clear. But you know, that, although, although that's great, I'm sorry, I, I'm on German Shepherd Man team, which is get your testing done before you even consider breeding. Um, right, so what happened was, let's go back three nights, uh, Zed was lying down, she, she then picked up a leg and it was you know, horizontal and um, the muscle was solid, almost like a cramp if you like. Um, so obviously I rubbed the leg, um, got growled from my trouble, got growled at for my troubles, but you know, I'll ignore all of that. Um, now she'd been lying on it for a while, so obviously there is the chance of pins and needles. Dogs do get pins and needles, it can happen. You know, um, about 52% of people have seen it that I know of in a poll. Um, the next night she'd been laying down on my bed for all of about two minutes and she got up and same thing on her left leg and I'm beginning to think uh oh, uh oh. And then uh, yesterday morning at about half past two in the morning it happened on her right leg. Um, so I thought well, that's it, we're going to the vet. So yesterday we went to the vet. Um, you know, I was thinking possible hip dysplasia, trapped nerve, you know, ACL, all sorts of things. Because I do think worst case scenario people because that's what I'm like um, I'd rather think worst case scenario and be pleasantly surprised but also be prepared you know having owned dogs for such a long time you know and been through some hellish times with dogs frankly and illnesses because of bad breeding practices you know um, I suppose it's made me think that way but anyway um, yeah it, it, it looks we're thinking just a strain, just a sprain, possibly. Um, I mean, Zed is a nightmare at the vets. You know, I have, they've got copious notes on, on their computer not to make eye contact with her, just to talk to me directly. And if Zed gets ignored, she she goes quiet, okay? Um, you know, people make a fuss of her, she gets way too highly excited. It's part of her training just to be ignored. And when people override my instruction around handling Zed, then we start hitting problems and Zed would rather, much rather be examined up high on a table, the examination table, than on the floor and this young vet, he was very young and, and we had to travel miles to a um, different branch of the practice because the phones, phone lines or something are down at the one that I usually use. It's the same practice but just a different sort of surgery, yeah. So um, uh, I'll be, you know, she's going to have a little bit of a rest. It hasn't happened this evening, tonight, you know, I mean, it's like four o'clock in the morning, it hasn't happened. Um, but I did, you know, I always teach my dogs to extend their back legs right out so that I can, and point their toes, so I can massage down the leg. Luckily Zed is very, very muscular. Um, she does get plenty of oily fish. I'm also going to put her on glucosamine and chondroitin, um, of which I'll get some from Dorwest today. Um, so, yeah, no rear, rear leg tricking and I'll use her wobble board to do her physio because as you know I can get her to nice arched back and a nice flexed back by extent, you know, taking her front paws off and she has to leave her back paws on there and stretch her back legs right out. Um, you know, if it, if it is to continue or if this problem... <laughs> I feel so beat down with problems. If if this is to um, continue, if it was to continue, then we have to go to X-ray. It's, it's a nightmare. Once she's had any kind of sedation, she, afterwards she just whines for 14 hours. But you know that, that's my problem. Um, I suppose I could always stick cotton wool in my ears, but I wouldn't do that. You know, I love said to death, and it's like I, I just couldn't leave it for the weekend. You know what? If I, you know, I was thinking what if her back end goes, and so I won't. <laughs> you see, the thing is with said, and I, I think you all know said. Well, it's hard actually to un to get to know a dog through a through video because they don't talk, but she's going to run at 100 miles an hour at full speed no matter what I do. It's as simple as that. You know, uh, Zed is not a dog that you can put on a lead and 
just take a walk it, it 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 won't satisfy her she would be unhappy she'd be frustrated she'd be uh, nervous uh, flighty anxious neurotic she has to do her work but I, I can take some bits out and make sure that she doesn't overdo it obviously it's so damn wet over here she's sliding a lot and that's not going to help so I just thought I'd let you know what's going on you know I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube of dogs with pins and needles and, and the owners are laughing. I'm sorry people, it's not a laughing matter. If your dog is getting pins and needles regularly, more than like once or twice a year, you need to see a vet. It's not normal, okay? I mean, she could have had hip dysplasia, she could have a trap nerve in her spine, who knows? I mean, though she'd extend her right leg backwards, of course, we had the whole problem because he wanted to touch her back legs and she was thinking he was going to cut her claws and she was bunny kicking and you know and and I just locked eyes with him and, and trapped him and kept him talking for a few minutes and said settled you know I mean I had venison and chicken and everything on me and it wasn't you know it was half past 12 20 past 12 her appointment in the afternoon which is like an hour from her dinner really so she was very hungry and that worked worked to my advantage but you know obviously I am concerned you know this is why I, I praise up German Shepherd Man and Puppy Girl so much because they do the testing. You, you know, if you're going to breed dogs, please damn well test properly. You know, she's two years and four months old and could possibly have bad knees. And though it won't affect her as a service dog or support dog or a medical assistance dog, it, it will affect her life if she cannot use her knees to the full range um, and exercise like the crazy, crazy dog that she is. She's a nut job. We all know that. Um, love her to death but she's very very high energy working line dogs you know you have to think of um, high drive dogs like an athlete you know I mean Zed has got extreme muscles um, I mean last night when she was on the bed with me she's stealing my hot water bottle and I have a problem with that but I'll have to get another one I suppose just someone else I can't afford um, oh very big thank you to the person that sent me that donation i don't like naming names when people give donations but thank you very much very gratefully received and it's, it's gone in into my bank to join my pc saving fund thank you um so you know um let's just hope fingers crossed everybody please that this doesn't turn into an absolute disaster and she ends up needing knee replacement surgery and horrible stuff like that i don't I'm not even sure I'd put her through that because of the type of dog she is. She she couldn't do eight weeks, six, eight weeks of cage rest. She just couldn't do it. I, I can go through that with her, but I just don't think she'd deal with it very well. Well, I know she wouldn't. You know, it, it, Zed is a full-on working line dog, you know, and it, it, it is as simple as that. I mean, a, a granddad was a grand, grandsire, beg your pardon if we're going to be correct, was second in the world at herding, and, and you know, it's... She does have, she's, she's, she might have her mum's colouring or her, or her dam's colouring, but she's got her sire's working ethic and I'm, I'm afraid that's just, just as it is. So, you know, lots of prayers for said, please. I mean, she's up and about, she's not even limping. I mean, please understand this, at no point is she limping. It's just for a couple of minutes she can't put that leg down. And, you know, we've all had pins and needles before and, you know, we understand what's going on, but a dog doesn't. And when I'm rubbing her leg, you know, to get the circulation moving quicker, she had her pulses checked, they're fine, her heart's fine, lungs fine, everything's fine with Zed, all right? We just, there's no luxation on the patella either, so, you know, it, 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 it who knows at this point? Um, the fact that it's both sides is actually a bit of relief. It, if it had just continued to be the left side, I'd have been actually slightly more worried, but. You know, I'm worried anyway, but I just thought I'd let you know. That's it from me, okay, guys? Um, she's gone back to sleep behind me, and that's the best thing for her at the moment, okay? So, stay awake, stay... Oh God, if I could only learn to speak. Stay well, guys. I mean, we're just back from a walk, and my fringe is wet, hence it looks... Yeah. Um, <laughs> it would help if I didn't have a dent in the side of my head, because it makes my fringe kick up there, and I don't like it, because my head goes in there, and it makes... Anyway. Never mind, I'm, I'm waffling. That's what I do when I'm worried. Um, thanks, guys. You take care now, and, and welcome to my new subscribers. And this is the joy of owning dogs. You know, it is, unfortunately, the reality of owning a dog is you're going to have to go through these things, and then you go through all of this. So you go through all that puppy, puppy nonsense and land shark teenage months, and, 
years of training and, and then they start to age and get, I mean, Zed's two years, four months. I, I, I really didn't expect this at this age. I mean, but, you know, YY started having joint problems at four years old and we all know what happened to YY because of many, many years. Well, well actually, it was probably only about two years that she was on continual um, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs and it absolutely annihilated her stomach and we had to end up putting her down. So, because she couldn't keep her food down anymore because it was all ulcerated. So, you know, Zed can't take NSAIDs really pleased about that because they give her diarrhea and so that they can't be used and, and the vet didn't want to give her anything because of her Dor West um, supplement which has nettles nettles have an anti-inflammatory benefit so she's got no inflammation there's no heat there there's no swelling there um, but you know I think I, I will be going ringing Dor West um, when, they, when I get back from training and that this morning and um, ordering some glucosamine and chondritin and let's get her on those um, oily fish you know I mean the vet said to me you're doing absolutely everything right that you should which is nice to know but I, I, I would hope that I was um, you know I'll use her wobble pad for physio she can do that before she goes out training when she gets back from training um, so we're looking at doing that three or four times a day and uh, it's just about stretching her out and when she's on the bed with me I can give her a full back leg massage with nice straight back legs so there you are that's the situation people just when you think it can't get worse it does but that's life it's always been my life you know you think right we're over this hurdle we're over this hurdle then then you get smack another one comes it's life people we just have to jump each hurdle and keep going um, and try not to get too depressed. I do feel depressed, people. I'm trying very hard not to be okay. So I, I love you loads. Bye.